Hello out there people of YouTube, my name is Zero Kelvin and I am back for another episode of Spooky's House of Jump Scares. I haven't actually stopped record- I, I haven't actually gotten up from my seat. This is right after episode 600 to keep with that promise I made about giving you guys five videos. This is probably going to be the last episode- or er, last video I upload tonight though. I say tonight as though I'm actually at that time period, but... Whatever. I'm, I'm just gonna bum rush through these. Because... Oh, it, it's you! I recognize your ambience! I can run backwards. That's good. But seriously, fuck you. I can't wait until we get to 6... 10... Where the where the new guy will show up. I didn't actually remember I didn't actually remember to look at the cat DOS to see what was next. So whoops. Just five more four more rooms, please. Let me oh let me get away from you. You are my least you are my most hated boss because you're bullshit. This is a very long room. Thank you, finally. Is it just me or are these... Oh, there was a cardboard. Like, this guy is bullshit. The way he teleports through walls and doesn't necessarily start at the beginning. Just, um... He appeared more ghostly that time. Does that mean anything, or was it just distance? Why are these hallways so long, though? Like, can I just turn back, or can I turn forwards and outrun him? I don't want to know. I don't want to figure out. Fuck you. It's all. It's almost room six ten. Let me escape him. I wonder, can I attack him with my axe? Oh, this just got a lot creepier. Why do I have a flashlight? I wish I looked at the cat DOS. This whole place is somehow even worse than the new GL labs. Although it seemed to have been constructed with a much larger budget than the new lab, nothing worked quite right. I can see why it was abandoned so quickly. I wonder if there really is anything worth here worth salvaging. Let me guess, a specimen? What are you? A generator? The lights are working now, and I can move through these. Sliding doors. Nice! The ambience took a very creepy turn. This facility is quite odd. Some of the equipment doesn't seem quite right, almost as if it were designed for people without hands. Specimens. Also, I'm not sure if it's just faulty electronics, but the power keeps fluctuating and weird noises are coming from the air ducts. Please tell me this isn't going to be a guy with a gimmick. Also, what does GL stand for? Like, seriously, I don't think it's, I don't think we've been told what GL stands for. Also, the room numbers are increasing. That was a weird airlock type door or er, room. Um, oh, the the power shut off. I can't get through the doors. I have to go through the bloody vent. Oh god, I'm crawling through the vents, but once again, another use for my axe. Oh, that's an exit. No, no power thing? Spooky just said that we there were things we needed to salvage from this place. I'm starting to worry that a loose specimen may be included in the list of things to retrieve. The power just shut off again. Is everything broken in here? 
It got darker. I don't know where I'm going. A generator and a note in blood. You have to keep it. You have to keep it close. It becomes something else when it gets too far away. Something I can't outrun. Where's my door? Where's my door? Whoa! Whoa! Ow! Oh, whoa! I I jumped because of the door, but I need to keep it close. No, let's just bummer to the next room. Whoa! So this. Whoa! What the fuck are you? Do I have to walk this guy to the door? I'm afraid. My enemy is right- it, like, it hurt me, but I could- it didn't seem to do any damage. That's it, follow me. I don't want it to become something I can't outrun. If we have to go slow and steady, I will. Just... Don't spook me. I will walk the 20 or so rooms it will take to get you off my tail. That, that's it, let's go. Can I attack this thing? Like, I don't, I don't want to try attacking any of them. Bomb rush. Whenever the door is close, I'll just go for it. That may have been a mistake. What are those jumps? What is my mouse doing? Oh, God. That's the thing. My mouse is old, but it's better than my other mouse simply because it's wired. Can this thing hurt me? Can this thing kill me? I don't want to try. Am I playing it right? Because that note from the GL guy- I don't think this guy can pass through walls. To be honest. No, it can't. It's not BS. However, that means that I have to walk slower as I have to wait for it to round corners. What does it mean- So I can't get too close to it. When it opens that weird stomach mouth thing, I can't be too close to it or it will do that to me. And see, it will, it will try to seizure me. I need to find a cat DOS as soon as possible and figure out what the fuck this thing is. It's just a ma- it's just a mass of flesh or something. Hi guy. I don't know what you are. And I don't know what to say to this. Like, if I have to walk this thing through 75 rooms, my camera is going to give out. I don't know what it did, but it's not here. Yes, yeah, slow and steady. I don't need you turning into something I can't outrun. He was being vague about that, but I don't- I don't want to- I don't want to risk it. I'm playing cautious. Too close. So you get away when it opens up. I don't know what that means, or... Locked! He hurt me. And there's some kind of particle effect on my screen. I don't know if that was there before, but there's something around my screen. Like, you could see it when the screen was dark. When it gets too close, it will try to, like, eat me or something. I do not wish to be bored. Yeah, don't let it get any ideas, but don't let it leave me.
Are we almost done with this? Please. I, I, I know I said I'd walk through this, but I'm getting really tired and I don't think... I don't think you guys want to watch me just slowly walk this thing through. Yeah, always sprint a bit away from it. I'm walking backwards because I want to make sure I don't lose... Or it doesn't move too far into the shadows. Because I think in the shadows it will morph. I swear, if this thing goes through all 30 minutes of my battery, of my camera. Come on. The particle effect is gone. Is that because I haven't been damaged by it anymore? I do not want to be one with you. Like, if I remember correctly, that's what the the one death I've had to slime ball said. Like, something about I'm being up of us being one. I can't remember, but do these guys all have the same deaths? Like, I, I kind of lost focus there. I kind of stopped moving. Do these guys have different deaths? Have I been missing out on a bunch of different death animations? I don't know, you guys know. You guys probably looked- you guys may have looked it up. Or just seen other people die. Alright, this is getting ridiculous. When I'm at- when I'm by a door, can I just bolt for it? Like, I don't want to risk anything with this guy. That did nothing to me. It, this is just so tedious. However... These things only go for a certain amount of rooms. Once I'm out of here, I am running. Because I have lost the patience. Damn it, GL Labs, what are you guys doing? Am I playing this guy wrong or something? Am I supposed to be running from it? Is that guy just fucking with me? What do you think goes through these guys' head? Zuh. Like, what do you think they're thinking? After all, they're supposed to be killing people and taking their souls or something. So what does that mean? Why are they doing this? Well, I guess we know why. Spooky. But why? What is the point of this game? Like, why does Spooky want souls? Is it because she's a ghost? Is she lonely? Is that it? Do people die in here and she just gets tired and upset? Am I looking too far into this? Is this just supposed to be a cutesy little spooks game? Like, oh god! Okay, I got stuck in the door. I hate when that happens. Come on, my little burden. Is it wrong for me to call this thing a burden? Because, I mean, that's pretty much what it is. It means I can't sprint through these rooms. Yeah, when we entered a new room, I thought it was safe, but actually, no. At least it gives me time to slow down and admire the art. It's not like there's anything else I can do. So far, I'd have to say this is like one of the easier guys. Because all I have to do is walk away from him. I don't even have to use my stamina, but... I can't help but feel I'm doing this wrong. It, it, it doesn't feel like it's just right for a guy that I'm supposed to walk away from. This entire thing just feels a bit absurd. Now, this is the thing that was crawling through the vents. It doesn't have any visible arms. It's just legs and 
flash. Let's get it. Let's get a fair distance on it and just try to figure out which way we're going. Okay, these both converged onto one point. Should be coming from the right screen. There it is. Come on, what the hell? But yeah, I have to be, apparent, I guess I have to be on, uh, only a specific distance away from it. How long do I have to walk away from it? I, I've, I've almost been doing this for a quarter of the floor now. How long did the other ones last? Does it just feel shorter because I'm running away from them? But these have been some very long rooms. Long, long rooms. These rooms were easy to fight the puppet in. Oh, whoa! Forgive me, I got turned around. I got confused. Ah, my mouse. There's something wrong with it where it'll just glitch out in direction. It really affects my TF2 play as well. But, the uh, it's compared to a mouse that occasionally doesn't move. Ah. <sighs> There's got to be a breaking point for this thing. I know your tricks now. The rooms are getting smaller, but it's still chasing me. I'm safe! I'm free! Finally, I can run! I can frolic through these halls like I could only do before! Uh, it was easy, but tedious. And these long hallways are still here. Yeah, I guess it's a good thing I got a short episode last time, because this is a very, very long one. I mean, not compared to the one where I, like, died. That was, like, 40 minutes of footage. But still, you guys got to see my winning run. Unless you decide to watch the vic unless you decide to watch all the footage, to which case, thank you! Because nobody- I had- I don't think anyone's actually been watching this playthrough so far. Which is very upsetting because I'm enjoying this game. It's a very good game and I- I want to be able to play more games on this channel for you guys to appreciate. Unfortunately though, that- I don't think that's available to be the case. You guys just want to see me freak out over reaction videos. And as, as much as I like doing that, I like, I like mixing things up a bit. Like, it's Halloween on Saturday, or whenever you're watching this video probably, if you're one of the people who's watching it. And you know what I wanted to do? You know what? Last Halloween, I did a dramatic reading for Rainbow Factory. I, granted, I was all, I didn't do very well at it, but I still did it, and I, I only got like five views on it. Like that, I was personally crushing. Like that, that took me like a week to make, and I had I had to start and stop so many times because I kept fucking up. But nobody wanted to see it. I, I originally, like last year, I wanted to do a dramatic reading of Pegasus device for this year's Halloween. However, after what, after seeing... It's dear god. Dear god, help us. <laughs> Ugh, that one actually made me jump. I didn't kill any deer, does that mean that he's not really going to try to attack me aggressively? What, what was I- oh right, Pegasus Device. I wanted to do a dramatic reading of Pegasus Device, but I don't think anybody would watch that. I really like this music. But Pegasus Device, I wanted to read it, but... Like, I was even going to enlist Ocean Breeze's help at some point. But nobody wants it. Oh god, I get turned... Oh, he's there. I didn't get a good look at him, but there's definitely a spirit there. I think it's like the picture showed. He's just like a, a spectral. A...
<sighs> Why am I even playing this game? Nobody wants to see it. Well, I, I guess because I want to play it. So, it's providing entertainment value for me, at least. You know what's a game I, wanted to pl I want to play, though? Undertale. Like... I, like, I, from what I've heard of it so far, it's, it's like, it's, it's an RPG game that you actually get to, that you don't have to kill people. I, I've looked at its homepage, and uh, apparently it's a game that you don't have to kill people. I want to play that game. I, I, like, it, it, it sounds really interesting. It's like, not, it's like ten bucks on Steam. But I don't think anybody else would actually be interested in it. Also, I don't tend to I don't tend to spend money on myself, so that's another thing. I guess that's just gonna fall into the catalogs. Why is this Why is this entire floor just really long rooms? Like that That's what this floor is, just long rooms. I think I finally ran out of things to say for this video, because, like, as I said before, I'm recording this, like, right after my playthrough of the last floor, and nothing's happened between that, so I'm stifling the same commentary, except I guess this time I got a little deeper. Is something chasing me? At this point, I really don't care. I don't think so, though. I think that was just a, rel a random ambience. That was interesting! Like, what was that noise? And it was like a piece of toast! That made a demonic growl! Like, oh my god, what was that? <laughs> it's okay, we just got five more floors, and then you guys can go and do whatever you want. Oh, excuse me, I guess I mean, I can do whatever I want. Well, I wonder if this will get saved to my thumbnail. Probably not. With all the walking I had to do, I basically, I'm not going to try to get that thing as a thumbnail. I'm just going to let it be R. I'm just going to leave it up to RNG this. <laughs> Ugh. Almost there. One more room. We're done. Hang in there. Thank you, cat. Gia Labs! Fuck you guys. Day four, I'm starting to lose track of time. The battery on my phone became very low, so I neglected to save it in case I find it. So I delegated to save it in case I find an exit. Yeah. I got 300 ro You got 300 rooms to go if you're on the same page as me. But anyways, that was room 600 through 700. That guy was really annoying. Like, just time consuming. It, it was interesting, but, uh, was I playing it wrong? Somebody please tell me before next week in case I run into it again. Bye.